Hey guys, Chillinites here, and welcome to another video. Today I am going to be playing Nino Kuni. Now, uh, the game is really loud for some reason, and I don't know if there's any options to turn it down. However, I've turned it down in the video, well, in the recording software, so hopefully it's not as loud as it is for you. Won't well, for me. But, uh, yeah. We're playing this game. Uh, I watched Stampy Longnose play it when I. Oh, a couple years ago. I didn't watch too far into it, though. But it looked like an interesting game, and so I wanted to try it. It looks like Studio Ghibli has helped make the animations for some of these cutscenes, so. I'll just be quiet for these. On, Ollie boy. Slow down, Mr. Drippy. But ding dong dells just on the way. Huh? Huh? Oh. Huh? What do we do? Run for it! Get going, should we? Huh? Hey, wait for me! A little silly being scared of those stampede. So this is your world. That's right. A whole nother world. Beautiful, innit? So we weren't really in the we weren't really in the game that long. <laughs> D don't really. Oh, there we go. Studio Ghibli. See? I just remembered that, I guess. But we just throw right on in. We know nothing about the game so far. But already looks beautiful. Looks like it has a really good art style. And I'm very interested in playing it. I, I got it on sale because I saw the remastered version was on sale and I didn't even know there was a remastered. I didn't know it was on PC actually. So I was like, you know what? I might as well get it. I I was interested in it before. I didn't really watch too far into it, so it'll be a nice new experience. And obviously I'm recording a video on it. Uh I just remember having good memories watching Stampy play it, so you know Maybe I'll be able to be that guy for someone else. You know, make someone's, someone have a great memory of me playing this game. I don't know. Either way, it's still going to be a good time. But it looks like we're just seeing some of the future events that shall be happening. That probably is the White Witch. It looks very interesting. Looks like we're going to be befriending a dragon, man. A dragon. A dragon. That's pretty epic, man. Sorry, mister. This is definitely by Studio Ghibli. This part. Why, good morning, Oliver. Your groceries are over there, honey. Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. Did Philip find you? He said he had something to show you, dear. Really? So he finally finished it, huh? Do you know where he is right now? He just stepped out with some deliveries for me. I doubt he'll have gotten far. Thanks, Miss Layla. Oh, say hi to your mother for me. Sure thing, Miss Layla. Sure thing, Miss Layla. Dude, let's get a move on. Hey, Ollie. Uh, it it didn't tell. It's not telling me a. Uh... Over here. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, it's Phil. Use wasad. 
to walk over to where Philip is standing. Approach him and click with a mouse. Well, I want to go this way. Hey, Ollie, over here. Oh, no. Run me over, please. I insist. Well, it's good. Good game development here. Can't get run over. Let's talk to old Phil. Oh, Phil. Guess what? She's finally ready. So what Miss Layla said? Is it really what I think it is? What else would it be, dum dum? Dude, that was mean. Boy, you are something else, Phil. So what do we do now? What else? We take our first spin. Tonight. Ooh. Well, tonight? But I can't. I mean, I need to ask my mom. And Sure, sure. You go ask your ma. And then when do we do it, huh? Tomorrow? Next year? Well, you don't need to go so far. Well, I... No, but... Okay, we'll do it tonight. But we'll have to be real quiet. Sure we will. Okay, tonight, my garage. Be there or be square. Sure. I certainly don't want to be square. So, this is the child who will save the world. Yep. Or so says the crystal ball, your radiance. Hmm. The dark djinn's power alone will not suffice. I fear not. What is the child's name? Oliver, your radiance. Oliver? Oliver. The mini map will be displayed at the top right of the screen. Oh, no, I didn't read it. This map lets you see your immediate surroundings. Press tab to switch to the local map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we want to go to the store. We're going to go to the store. Yeah, but, uh, I don't know. I just hearing the name Oliver and in like a somewhat British accent has been ruined for me since Oliver. Little known fact, I don't know if you guys know, but uh, I was actually in a play for Oliver, and it was pretty epic. I was, uh, hmm, I, I forget his name already, Mr. I was the Undertaker. Clearly, I am a great performer who n remembers every single thing about every single play I perform in, but, you know... It was a great time. I enjoyed it. But I'm just going to think every single time I hear Oliver, 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 and all the songs from the play. If I remember the name, I'll let you guys know. Hey, Mom. I got the groceries. Thanks, sweetie. Just pop them on the table, will you? Say, Mom, hmm? did you say something, sweetie? Um, you're kind of busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? Hmm? Uh, yes, I suppose I will. Oh, you will, huh? <laughs> will you stop being so mysterious and eat your breakfast? You'll be late for school. Mm. Let you before you swallow. Mm. Oh, I don't want to choke. Mm. Mm. Thanks for breakfast, Mom. That's breakfast, bro. See you later, Mom. It's all right. It's only Bye, the morning. Sweetie. You be good now. I will. She knows. She knows. Hey, Phil. You didn't go to school yet? Ha! <laughs> School schmool! Today's a special kid, kid day, kiddo. <laughs> Today's the day our dream machine finally rolls off the drawing board and onto the streets of Motorville. I don't know why I gave him like a weird New York accent, I guess. I don't know. But, oh boy, I can't wait. When can I see it? 
Whoa there, cowboy, not so loud. Don't forget, this is our secret. Hey, dum dum. You didn't tell your mom about it, did you? No, I didn't. I asked her if she was busy, and she said she has a concert practice. So she'll be in bed real early. Perfect. Then tonight's the night. <laughs> you still in, kiddo? Sure I am. Tonight at your garage. I'll be there. Well, it looks like we it's a plan, then. I did remember the name. I was Mr. Sourberry. I remembered it, like, during that cutscene. Like, ah, oh, yes. Of course. I remember it during a cutscene, so I have to wait. She must be asleep by now. Neato! She's out like a light. Now's my chance. I have to get to Phil's garage. Press Z to open the main menu. You will be presented with a range of options. Cool. 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 Uh, I gotta save? Man, I unlocked the main menu. I gotta unlock everything in this game. New slot. Neato! Sneaking out after dark. It sounds mischievous. Let's go this way. Let's see if we... Wow, it's fast asleep. Let's see if we can... We could go right back into our our room. See if we can find a secret. A secret. Yeah, but now that I actually listened to like their access a little more, I I probably say they probably aren't like British. It's like a mix. It's hard to tell. Just roaming around the house. We're supposed to meet up with Phil, you know. He he wants us to see his cool new thing. Meanwhile, I'm here, you know, wondering, oh, let's just make some toast before we go. I don't know if I'll be a little peckish on the way out, you know? You know, I gotta grab a bite to eat. You never know when hunger might strike you. Sneaking out. A little scared. Something will happen, you know. I don't, I didn't tell my mom. I, I know she'll worry. I wonder if there's a... Yeah, I can walk. No no need to rush things. Uh-oh. Why, good evening, Oliver. What are you doing out so late? You know my mom. Mm -hmm. Don't get my keys, ma'am. Have a nice night. You know, we're not rude people. We're not gonna... We're gonna be rude to anyone. We're, we're a kid. Chill, nice... Innocent gay. The world to explore. You sure? You sure? I, I think I am. What are you doing, kid? It's late. There's nobody around. But this is Motorville. I guess you'll be okay. Oh, hi. Uh, did you want something? What a... You sure? I am quite sure. I guess he's not. This isn't the way to Phil's garage. <laughs> Silly me, I did. I. Oh no, that was a little weird. Another animation. Hey. Huh. In here. Oh, I should have invited her. What are you looking at? How rude, Phil. I know his name's Philip. What is it with that kid? What kept you, Slowpoke? Sorry, my mom just wouldn't go to bed. So, is it finished? Sure is. The last bearing's in, and she's primed for action. Wanna see? Do I ever? All right. Do I? Here goes nothing. Okay. Whoa. Wow. Oh, is this neat? Phil, this is so, so neat. You betcha. It's so neat. <laughs> The new Coupe Deluxe ain't got nothing on us all. Yeah, he took himself out getting that it's not tarp even off. Close. So, you ready to hit the road, kiddo? Yeah! <laughs> I don't think they have a license for this. I don't think this is very legal. Okay, there's nobody around. We should take her outside now. So, uh, Phil, who gets to drive first? Uh, hmm, let me see now. Tell you what, kiddo, if you run down the street and make sure the coast is clear, I'll let you go first. 
You mean that? Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, okay, wait right here. And watch out for Starry Mary, will ya? Starry Mary? You know, the girl who was spying on us before. I swear that kid is cracked. Philip, dude. Phil. Mind if I call you Phil? I've been calling you Phil anyway. You need to chill. She's a nice, nice lady. See? There she is again. I bet that Tattletales goes straight to her olds. She wouldn't do that. What are you, sweet on her or something? Go check out front already. Sure thing, Phil. I'll be right back. Yeah, I, I don't have the best voice acting here. But, you know, I'll try my best. There's only so much I can do. Especially with this mic. It does not really reflect my voice well. Ghost is clear. I better go tell Phil. Don't go. What? Huh? It's bad. Please, Oliver. Don't go. Who are you? Huh? Wh who are you? How do you know my name? Ollie! What's taking you so long? I'm sorry, Phil. Someone saw me. Oh, man. Who was it? Oh, uh, that girl was a... Ooh. What are you talking about? What? There's nobody there. Huh. That's weird. She was right there. A girl. A girl, huh? Mm -hmm. I bet it was that dumb, scary Mary. Oh no, couldn't be. She's not allowed out. Oof. You must be going screwy or something. Anyway, come on. Oh, oh, okay. Vamanos. Hmm, it's almost like we might be seeing her soon. Oliver, the boy who will save the world. But unfortunately for him, his light is yet a mere candle in the blackness. Indeed. He may be the child the prophecies speak of, but he is a child nonetheless. Yet these humans can be... disturbingly powerful. Hmm. Did the other's darkness utter me uh -oh. the land entirely? Might this one not prove equally tenacious? Why she changes colors? Such saplings must not be suffered to grow. Very well, your radiance. Oh no, parrot's eyes are red. Parrot's eyes are red, guys. We need to, we need to get out. To save this doomed world, must die. Must die a little bit morbid, don't you think? I'm just a kid. I'm just a kid. Uh oh. Don't you do it. Mom! Help me! <gasps> don't do it. She better stay <gasps> safe. Sweetie? Please. Where are you? Leave my mom alone. Oliver? Oliver? Please, man. Spare her. Um, you're kind of busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh, yeah? So, you'll be in bed kind of early, huh? <sighs> Oliver. No, man, no. Oliver. Just put the jacket on. Don't wear it like that, man. See, I don't get it when people do that. Like, you, you, it's just more hassle than it's worth. I should just become the sound effects. Wow, oh, football helmet. Why is the game so quiet now?
Wahoo! Man, he's really cruising at like a good 10, 15 miles per hour. Heck, maybe 30. Oh no. All that hard work. No, man, no. Philip, what happened? It's Ollie. Oliver! Please, he can't swim. Look, Mom came to the rescue. Oliver? Oliver, wake up. Mom? Oh, sweetie, I'm so glad you're okay. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. I swear, if I'd known, I never would have. Don't be silly, Phil. What about your car? That hunk of junk? I can make another one in no time. Well, I think you two have had quite enough excitement for one day. Yes, ma'am. What a good guy. Are you okay, Phil? I so twisted my ankle back there. <laughs> Whatever will you uh, children get up to uh, next? Uh, no! Uh, Allie! Allie! Uh, Allie? Are you okay? Mom? What's wrong? Uh, oh, God. Mom? She always did have a weak heart. Mom? Oh, dear. I'll fetch the doctor. Bro. Bro. No. I can't believe this. Oliver, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. Mom. You'll be okay. I know you will. You're good now. For me. Dude. Mom? Mom? Mom! No. No! Don't leave me. Sacrificing herself to save her child. And yet, thanks to her, the boy lives. Of course. But shorn of his mother's love, to whom can he now turn for guidance? And soon he will come to our world, where our powers are strongest. Very good, your radiance. Hmm. Let us see how this story unfolds. I'm sure the ending. As as cool as your cape is, you're a horrible, horrible person, which like dude I was not expecting that. I did not remember that at all. Oliver, honey, I brought you some apple pie. I'll just leave it here for you, okay, dearie? As much as that apple pie is such a nice gesture. It really ain't it doesn't amount to a mom, man. Now, now. You'll just have to wait until dinner, Timmy told her. <laughs> Timmy told her. <laughs> He's been in there three whole days now. I remember his name is Drippy. That's all I remember. Oliver, Mummy starts her new job today. She's asked someone very special to take care of you. Mummy spent a long time making him. I'm sure he'll look after you very well. <laughs> Be good while Mummy's away, okay? Mommy! Is something wrong, sweetie? Come back soon, okay? Of course, sweetie. We'll always be together, Oliver. 
Bro, that always seemed a little short. Oh, you getting tears all over me? Free from what? Huh? What just happened? You just witnessed the rebirth of Drippy, Lord High, uh, Lord of the Fairies. Um. Who? What are you deaf or something? Drippy, Lord High, Lord of the Fairies. I said, didn't I? Drippy. That's right. And I'm sick to the teeth of you are sniveling and moaning. A proper crybaby bunt in you are. Three days, man. I mean, I've been sad before, but crying for three old days. I'm surprised there's a drop of water left in you. You're a big boy, man. Three days is, well, it's unheard of. What? I, uh... Oh, dear, a bit flummoxed, a wee bit lost for words. Not to worry, man. I got all the answers. Oh, but uh, prepare yourself. Explaining all this is going to take a while. Ready? Uh-oh. Going a little fast, man. Uh-huh. Tidy. I like your style. Very honest, anyway. Stay that way, okay? Take you far, I will. Okay. Well, let me just have a seat. On with the show! Uh, okay. See, it's like this, see? What it is, is there's more worlds out there than this one by Earth. There's what you might call parallel worlds, see? They're like worlds along by the side of your one. And one of those worlds is my world. That's right, a whole nother world. Another Dang, world? Another Best world. Quick you are. And I, that is the Lord High Lord of the Fairies, the reason I'm by her in this world of viewers, well, it's because there's a proper bad apple trying to upset the peace of both our worlds, see? Shaddaa, the Dark Jinn, his name is, and what he did was he took over people's hearts and spread war and ruin all over our world. Tried to stand up to him, I did, and he turned me into a flipping doll and kicked me out of our world and into you as the rotter. Uh huh. And then you went and cried all over me, and poof, the curse was lifted, just like that. Just like she that. You must be the one we fairies call the pure hearted one. The one the legends say will save our world. Save Just your show, world. You can't judge a book by its cover, huh? Dang. So, anyway, that means I better get you over to our world and have you get rid of Shadar for us. All right with you? Me? But how can I? Don't fret, man. It's a big responsibility, I know, but you'll be all right, especially with me to help you. But I. Hop. Oh, want me to ask properly, do you, Fedus? What? Oh, pure-hearted one, will you please come and save our world? Uh, I, I gotta think about uh, it, man. No. Sorry, I must have misheard you. What did you say? Go on once more, but louder. I won't do it. I, I mean, I can't do it. This is why they say never work with children. I ask nicely, and you give me a hearty, yes, sir. That's how this works, see? Gee whiz, that would be swell, you say. It's just how these things are done. It's tradition. How am I supposed to work with this? It's like he's never read a story in his life. But I don't know anything about your world. And I just can't right now. Can't right now. I'm not feeling it, man. Not in a good place. What, because your mom dropped dead? Uh, Dude, insensitive. Yeah. You got a photo of her? Uh. Hurry up, will you? I haven't got all day. Oh, uh, okay. So that was so insensitive, man. Watch, he breaks Let's it. Now. Blimey. It can't be. But then it can't be a coincidence, neither. What is it? The great sage Alicia. Then we might just be able to save your mom. Huh? What are you talking about? You ready for another year full? Yeah. Hmm. The souls of people in your world and my world are connected. Which means people from over by you have another version of themselves over by there, called a soulmate, see? And people with soulmates can even look like each other. Now, your mom, well, she shared a soul with the great sage Alicia. A proper talent she was. Huh? So my mom was a sage? But That's pretty epic, how man. How does that help us save her? Well, Alicia tried to take on the dark djinn, but his power was too much for her, and he trapped her in this dark jewel called the soul snare. When that happened, then the link between hers and you and mam's souls would have been cut off. But if you could free Alicia, it just might fix the link. And who knows, it might even bring your mam back. Is that really true? I can't be sure now, but it's possible, yeah. 
He, he sounds like he's getting my hopes up here. How do you know all this, Mr. Drivy? You've been a doll this whole time. Ah, now there's clever of you. Good question, lad. It's like this, see? I'm not the only fairy. Even though I was stuck by you, my buddies were keeping me abreast of all the goings-on over there. How? I suppose it's what you might call telepathy. And that's not all. I was sending my lordly orders back over there, too. Having them spy on Shaddaa and that, you know, tidy, huh? Hmm? What is it? I'll... I'll do it. I'll come to your world. I'll come with you and save my mom. Oh, that's marvelous. You might be doing it for all the wrong reasons, but if it saves our world, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Tidy, we better get going then. Chop, chop. Okay. Let's move. But how do we get to your world? Oh, curious, are mm. we? All right, I'll tell you. First thing we need is a drop of magic. Go and have a dig around in the fireplace. There's something hidden there so nosy parkers won't find it. But why would anybody hide something in there? That's for me to know and you to find out. Look lightly. Did help if you'd explain a little more. So that that's all great and all drippy, man, but uh like you you you're coercing me here, man. You're coercing me. But uh So we're at thirty one minutes and uh I'm gonna try to keep these episodes a little shorter. You know, make them a little easier to watch. And we might get longer along the way, you know, get more content in later. But for now, we are going to end the episode here. So if you're looking forward to the series or you want to see more, uh, you know, drop a like, comment, subscribe. And I plan on doing the whole game here because I'm going to play the game no matter what. I might as well record a series on it, you know. And uh, hopefully it's all in good fun, and I hope I see you guys in the next episode. But hope you enjoyed, and bye.